We're sending our team in three different directions uh, starting today. Uh, we have a group going to Dallas uh, that's going to run there for the first time. They have a new indoor uh, track that's been moved into the Jerry Jones world and there. And, uh, and we're hoping just to, to see how that's going to go and give kids an opportunity to continue to get ready for conference. And then Coach Murray's taking our distance runners to Iowa State for a big opportunity there to, to run some fast times. And then um, we're taking the rest of them to Fayetteville to the Tyson Invitational. So each one has a, a part and a reason for going and giving the kids an opportunity to do the best there. You said track at Jerry World? They have brought in one, Dumas. Uh, it's, a, it's a track from a, another country. Uh, and there's a guy, a meat promoter uh, from Dallas that's going to have a meet there. They're having one Thursday college, Friday college, and Saturday high school for the first time ever so that I, I know remember, of. I don't remember it's any brand new. Over there. So yeah. how many, who, all, who all gets to have that experience? Well, uh, mostly uh, Tyson Invitational, you, you have to be – you have to get in the meet. So the ones that didn't get in the Tyson are the ones all going to Dallas. And then, of course, John is taking a few of our best distance guys and, and girls to uh, Iowa State, which is where a lot of people in the country are going to meet this weekend. How many, how many of your kids are going to be in Dallas, you think? We've got about uh, probably 30 or 40 people. There are 40 okay. that are in Dallas, and we've got about 12, 13 girls to Tyson uh, on each side. And this late in the indoor season, who are people who are kind of on the bubble trying to get the NCAA marker time right now? Yeah, you know, uh, Charles Brown has got two marks, and his triple jump is uh, – he's, he's pretty solid in the high jump, we feel, and then the long jump, his triple jump is kind of on the border. So we want to try to really give him a, an opportunity to get to nationals in three events, which is uh, almost unprecedented. But uh, I think he has a great chance this weekend. Uh, you know, we just want everybody to hit big marks. Uh, our 4x4 four four team, we ran really fast here last year at this meet. So that's a real important thing. Kyle Collins in the 400. Uh, C.J. Jones and, and Vince uh, in the 800. Uh, all of our All-Americans from last year, Champlin in the 400, all that opportunity for those guys to get in there and get a good fast time. I know you've always said Charles Brown had great potential uh, and was unusual being a guy who did all three. but. Uh, to see him go seven two and a half last week was as yeah. a PR by how much? Was that a two uh, inch I believe that's a two inch PR. Yeah, he went seven foot at Nebraska and had jumped that maybe twice. He's but never gone seven one. No, he? no, he jumped up there to seven two and a half and then jumped at seven seven five two twenty six. But uh, you know, he and Trey both Trey was jumping really good and. Uh, but for Charles to really move up in the high jump, we knew he could be really good there. But it's hard to work three events, and uh, he's figuring it out. So uh, it makes it fun because we knew he's talented. Just a matter of him having an opportunity to have some time to learn all three. Coach, what are some advantages that you have uh, splitting up to three different locations? Yeah, the, the big advantage is going where the competition is the best for those kids, and that's what it's all about this late in the game. Uh, we're really hoping our distance runners can get some really good marks and have an opportunity for nationals there, but also get some good conference uh, leading marks. And the same thing for the Arkansas group. Uh, you know, anything kind of half mile down is going to be at Arkansas. And uh, kind of half mile up or 1,500 up mile up would be more for Iowa State. So it's just a great opportunity. And then I wanted the, some of the kids that are fourth, fifth, and sixth, seventh, eighth place kids for conference, I wanted them to run this week because we're off. Uh, next week, preparing for Big 12. So it just gives them one more opportunity. I'm picking 26 female and 26 males to go, so I wanted to give some kids more opportunities, and that's what the Dallas meet's all about. You talked about being off next week. Uh, how does that help, I guess, kind of let guys really focus on getting that mark for nationals and not having to maybe kind of... Crash everybody really anxious to compete because they're, uh, they'll have had two weeks off. With the uh, sports sports performance center going up and taking shape now, uh, a year from now, how many meets do you think you will have in there? Well, I, I want to stay here every week, but I'm sure we'll travel somewhere. Uh, but I expect five to six meets a year here and uh, try to travel maybe where the national championships are going to be just so that we can get on that track. We love Arkansas. It, it's really been a, a great opportunity. It's one of the best tracks and facilities, I think, in the country. And that's, that's one place we might go. Uh, A&M is Nationals again next year. We might go there. We don't like it as well for, for
for certain events as we do others. But we're going to stay home mostly and uh, try to bring some of the biggest schools in the country to us. Do you have uh, nailed down yet? I know you expect to host Big 12 meets. Do you have any nailed down yet? For we, the we have 19 guaranteed. Uh, we don't have well, – Iowa State – uh, would not give it up for next year, and they had the bid, and they want to have it in 18. So uh, right now we have 19. Now we are hosting the National Junior College Championships next year on this new track, and we'll have, of course, four or five other meets there along with that. Do you anticipate, could you host an NCAA championship, NCAA indoor? I would love to have that opportunity. We'll have to add some stands, which I think we can do. Uh, but uh, we're going to be set up for about 3,000 people for anything. And Big 12, normally if you've got – 1,500 to 2,000, it's good. Iowa State doesn't even have 500 seats, and they've been hosting it. So I think, though, in Texas, we'd get a much bigger crowd. Yeah. What's the requirements to host an NCAA indoor? 4,000 seats, which we could do. We've got yeah. the – when the door opens, it's 50 meters wide, and we can put in a lot of portable sands right in there, and that's our plan, plus the 1,000 that are already permanent. And then around the corners, we can put another 50 at each corner, so get 200 more there. So I think we could get there uh, if we could get an opportunity to bid. And uh, I think they want us to host a few meets and see how it goes and see if people like it, and then we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, I really did kind of surprise myself. I always knew that I had the ability to jump high. It was just being able to actually jump high and get over the bar. And we practiced that a little bit, but again, my main focus was long and triple jump. But at the same time, it's kind of, you know, high jump is something I take serious because I believe I can do it at, the, at a high level and I can help the team out in that area. Are you doing, oh, in practice, are you doing horizontals on one day and high jump on one day, or are you actually doing all three on the same day? Um, majority of the time I'm doing more horizontals on uh, my approach and my speed coming down the runway. And then there's a few times we throw in high jump in there. But other than that, it's mainly focusing on just getting the approach right. Yeah. I can't remember if it was you or it might have been Coach Thomas told me last year that you were using a shorter approach. I forget how many steps. And uh -huh. It was significantly shorter than a lot of like the top – long jumpers or triple jumpers? How many steps are you approaching this year? Um, or are you still you, kind of where you were last year? Uh, early last year, he had moved me down to eight steps, and that was because I was not doing the approach right all indoor. If you go back and watch film from indoor last year, I really struggled a lot with touching the board or even getting anywhere near it. Now that I'm more maintained or more focused on my approach, I'm doing it a lot more consistently, and he's backed me up to 10 steps, which is about what – some professionals do, some may, maybe do a little longer. But now that I can consistently do it right and get it right every time I need to, he backs me up. So you're getting on the board. So you've been getting on the board pretty much every time this year for the uh, most part? A lot more getting on the board versus last year indoor. Yeah. Trying to put all your PRs and your progression, what does that do for your confidence going into this weekend and then Big 12? My confidence has definitely went up. It was already high because I believe I can do a lot long and triple. And then high jump, I was thinking about maybe if I can score any points at all, I'll be happy. But now I'm sitting third, I believe, in Big 12s, and I'm chasing to go win it. I mean, I know I got Trey Cover in it, and that's my teammate. I, I hope him the best, but I want to win just like he wants to win. So, I mean, with that mindset, I feel like we can do great things. The high jumpers always talk about how um, since there's usually – Three getting like three guys who are seven foot guys. How much they push each other and how much that helps. Are you mm -hmm. feeling that working out with Trey all the time? Oh yeah, because whenever we high jump, there's never a downtime. Anytime we're all jumping, it's, it's fun, it's exciting, and we're all jumping high. Just like in practice, it's not only just me and Trey. We also jump with Bradley Atkins and Jacorian Duffield, which you know they're great. That's a professional athlete and Olympian and also a national champion. So for me, I have. Nothing but greatness surrounding me when I high jump. So I have all the potential to go high and all the support that I need. What little things is Coach Thomas having you work on on the high jump maybe that you didn't know when you got here? Um, some things he worked on me is uh, fixing my approach. I was also struggling with that mainly the whole indoor and outdoor last year. Now that I finally get an approach right, he's having me work a lot more better form over the bar. At first last year, even now I still have a little issue of where I kind of tuck my feet in and my back is flat. Now he's trying to make me relax my feet to where they're down more and I have more of an arch and I'm bending over the bar better. Yeah. And you're going to which place this weekend? 
I'm going yeah. Arkansas. You're going to Arkansas. Doing triple jump there. Yeah. You're just doing the one event, Sam? I'm just doing one because I'm 10th nationally in high jump, and I believe fourth or fifth in long, and my triple jump is sitting tied for 15. So, but that mark is not too good of a mark. So it's highly potential that it gets knocked down. So we're hoping to make that mark better than what it is. But you're pretty much probably up in for almost for sure on the other two, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Best times or marks so far? Um, seven four, seven four four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how's that compared to kind of what you've been, what you're doing before this year? Um, before this year, I was at like seven six, seven five. So to run um, seven four um, this past week was very emotional. Like it was, I was happy to have ran that. You know, yeah. it's been a while since I've actually ran to my best ability due to injury. So it feels good. Talk about how that plays into this weekend. I'm just going in like level headed, not too up, not too down, just going in um, positive attitude to run hard and just have another PR. You're going to which meet? Arkansas. You're going to Arkansas. Yes. Do you know where you stand in the NCAA ranking right now? I know in Big 12, I'm number seven in the 60 in the 200. Okay. You mentioned dealing, having dealt with some injuries. What have you, what, have, what has kind of set you back? Or what have you been dealing with? Um, um, I pulled my hamstring, well, both hamstrings, but recently I pulled my left hamstring. And also my sophomore year, I went to the armory and I got a concussion. And I was out my whole sophomore year and, like, the end of my junior year. So since then, I really haven't ran to my fastest. So to be back is nice. Are you, how close are you to 100% then, would you say? I would feel like I'm at 100% now. Okay, so you're yeah. good. What are you most looking forward to uh, as you travel to Arkansas? I'm just looking forward to the competition, um, just going out there, having fun, not thinking too much to make me, or not tensing up. Good. Thank you.